Hey guys, what's up? It's AfoSX here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S or your iPad 2 on iOS 5.0 or 5.0.1 using AppSync. Right here, I obviously have an iPhone 4S and an iPad 2. As you can see, I do have the band right there proving that it's a 4S, and in addition, I'll just load up Siri. But as you can see, I use this jailbreak to get Cydia and jailbreak my iPhone 4S. So for this video, I'm going to jailbreak the iPad 2, which I have in the background right there. As you can see, it's clearly an iPad 2. So what do you need to do? First of all, you're going to need to download AppSynth. I already have it downloaded, and I just quickly opened up the program right there. Just download the program and hit Run. You just open the program and then hit Jailbreak. So if we go to our device, um, you will notice that the device does have a little bit of a spinning logo in the top left-hand corner of your device, almost like it's syncing with iTunes. Just let it be. That's actually what it's supposed to be doing. This whole jailbreak almost models like restoring and syncing. I'm not sure why, but don't worry. It's doing exactly what it needs to be doing. So we're going to let, we're going to go ahead and speed this up really quickly of the beginning jailbreak phase. This jailbreak can take a little bit longer than normal jailbreaks. It took me about 10 minutes. Some people it takes 15 minutes. It just kind of depends on your device and your computer. So now we're at the next step, which is sending the initial data and your device will apparently you know, look like it's restoring, which, like I said, it mirrors the restore process for whatever reason. So there's the restore and progress screen. No need to fear. It's exactly what's supposed to be happening. Just be patient and let the process go through um, with it because it's putting jailbreak files on there and doing a whole bunch of stuff that I really can't explain in this video. So once again, we're going to speed up through the second part of the jailbreak as it sends the initial data. I just don't want to make you guys watch a 15 minute video. Um, and neither do I want to make a 15 minute video. Anyways, back to the video. As you can see, it's the video sped up at about 600%, so that's why the bar is moving so quickly. We're going to slow it back down before it gets to the next step. And that's actually when the device is going to reboot. That's when it moves to the third step, and it's basically just going to reboot, and then the little bar is going to come up on the screen, almost like your device is restoring. So obviously you can see uh, the camera's having a little bit of trouble focusing, but as you can see, I fixed that. Um, you have the spinning logo right there, whatever you want to call it, just like you would have before you jailbreak or before you restore your device, whichever one you'd like to think of. The Apple logo is going to pop back up and your device will basically just sit here for a little bit. I actually did not speed this uh, part of the video up quite as much just because I wanted to show you guys everything that goes on. So you'll see the bar coming up here in a second. Uh, just a quick reminder, just be patient with this jailbreak. It does take a little bit longer than other jailbreaks, but please understand that a jailbreak is so much better than a no jailbreak for these two great devices. Um, so there it is. The device has rebooted, but don't touch it yet because if you look on the screen right here, the fourth step will say, do not touch your device. It's really important that you do not touch it. As you can see, there's that red arrow. Um, it's very important. Uh, just don't don't unlock your device. I don't know how else to put it. Just don't unlock your device until the program specifically tells you that you can unlock your device and proceed to the next step of the jailbreak, which is luckily the final step of this jailbreak. I just want to take a quick moment to go ahead and thank all the members who developed this jailbreak at Pod2G, the Chronic Dev Team, Planet Bean, any dev team or person that was affiliated with it, as you can see right there in the program window. I'd just like to give a big thanks to them because Without them, you wouldn't have a jailbroken iPhone 4S or iPad 2. So big thanks to them, and hopefully they can uh, put out more jailbreaks for new firmwares like 5.1 when that comes out. Anyways, back to the video. As you can see, the desktop told us that we could now unplug or uh, unlock our iPad. So we're going to scroll over to the right and find the AppSynth icon. It's actually just a web clip, but you need to open it because that's how the jailbreak installs Cydia. You need to let it uh, stay open until the iPad actually reboots. So if you're having network connection issues, which a lot of people are having since the servers are just getting hammered right now, just give it a couple tries and eventually it will work. Uh, mine actually worked on the first time, as you can see right there. Once it's done, your iPad will reboot like so. So we're just going to let this reboot. And once we reboot, uh, obviously you can see that it sped it up so you don't have to watch that. Once the device is uh, done booting up, you will have Cydia on your iOS or your iPad 2 home screen, which obviously has never been done before. So we're going to slide to unlock and we're going to slide over to the last page where our Cydia icon is. and We're going to launch up Cydia. 
So that's really it for this jailbreak, but of course you still have to prepare the file system as that's not done in previous steps of the jailbreak. So um, if you're advanced enough, you really don't need to continue on watching with this, continue watching this video. But for those of you who might want some help, I would recommend that you continue to watch this video because after the file system is completed, you just need to respring your device, which will automatically do unlock your device and launch up Cydia. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Slide over to the right, launch up Cydia, and there you go. Cydia running on an iPad 2 on iOS 5.0.1. So that is this jailbreak, guys. Like I said, it's amazing. Big thanks to G for everything that he did and put into this jailbreak. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it or liked it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at iFOSX. Add me on Game Center as Apposex, retweet and share this video across the web. That's it guys, thanks for watching.